I think I need to rethink this. We are overnight swing traders and we buy at the end of the trading day and we sell the next morning. But uh, are we selling too soon? Although the month is not over, I think this is a good video for the SPY T Challenge series of videos. So I'm gonna place this one as the next one and I'll share a little bit about how things are going, but I'll dig in deeper in the next video. I've been stuck at about 10% growth for the month, 40% on the year, which is still pretty good. However, we could have been doing a lot better, which is kind of why I'm making this video. What I generally recommend, especially for new SPY T traders, is to buy at the end of the trading day and sell first thing in the morning. And then eventually you'll develop a rhythm and an understanding, maybe even put in a few technical indicators that'll help you extend your gains and even minimize your losses. But I'm starting to think that I need to just let that go at some point and just say, wait until a specific time. Just like any approach, there are pluses and minuses to waiting till later to get out of your trade. Currently, our indicator at spytomorrow.com measures the pressure at the end of the trading day, which often correlates to how the market might open the next day, and it tends to be correct over the long term about 75% of the time within the first half hour of the trading day. And I'm not looking to change that. We have to have a cap. Yes, it would be considered more correct if I waited until 11 or 12 o'clock. It'd probably be 80, 82, 83% correct if I did that. But we, we stay with the first half hour, but that doesn't mean we have to trade within that first half hour. Quite often we like to get out within that first half hour because we are concerned about time decay. We're often buying our options four to seven days until expiration. So time decay is a real thing. But if you push it out a little bit more and stick within say the seven to 10 day range or even the six to eight day range, you still have a little time and you can hold your position through the morning without much of time decay hurting your trade. If your option expiration is say two to four days away, I'd still try to get out as soon as possible. I remember a couple of years ago when the market volatility was much higher in spite of our members were saying, hey, they're waiting until the end of the day, letting that pressure really take hold and set up no matter where it started at the beginning of the day. And they were doing really well. But during these lower volatility times, I wouldn't wait until the end of the day. But there is a point in time that I've seen pretty consistently offering the best opportunity to sell. Of course, there are always days when selling immediately was the best option and selling at 10 o'clock, 11, noon, and sometimes waiting until the end of the day. However, I've noticed about the 11 o'clock hour has been really good. The pressure that we have recorded the night before seems to follow through and give us the maximum gain for the day, at least in a way that's more consistent and offers such outsized gains than selling first thing in the morning, it's worth the wait. And the best way to do that is to turn off your computer and wait until the 11 o'clock hour. One of the best pieces of advice that I've gotten from some really smart day traders is to wait for your setup, be patient, get into your trade, and then walk away. And that's essentially what we're doing. Rather than watching each tick up and down, which gives you the opportunity to sabotage your trade, letting the emotions get to you, you just wait and you let it work itself out. And that tends to lead to much bigger profits versus being concerned about one little tiny gain or stopping at a small loss. And the thing is we're overnight swing traders, not day traders. So we're just deciding to extend our time frame rather than trying to play the day trading game, which often leads to frustration. And of course you can still set up stops to protect yourself but then maybe set up a series of check-in times, such as 10.30 or 11 or noon or one o'clock, depending on what seems to work best for you. Right now for me, 11 o'clock seems to work in this market environment, but that could change over time. Maybe eventually it will be one o'clock or 10.30. You have to keep an eye on the patterns because the market does go through different phases during different times of the year in different markets. Because the thing is, I know I would be up a lot more if I simply did that. Yes, there would have been some additional days in which I lost, but the gains were so much greater that it really wasn't much of an issue. I would still be that much ahead if I just had a little patience 
and checked in at 11 o'clock rather than following that first half hour of trading, getting emotional, getting out with a small gain or maybe a small loss. You're gonna to have to set up your own rules. A couple of my rules are if it is under 0.3% gain, I will put the computer down now and wait till 11 o'clock. I also put a stop in there to maybe preserve some of those gains or minimize any future losses. And I will also, if there is a big open in my favor, say 0.75% or 1% or more, I will put a stop in place to definitely protect those gains or just get out if I think the market's gonna come back down or go back up, depending on the situation. Yeah, I get it easier said than done. There's a reason why we are overnight swing traders rather than day traders, because the emotions can get to us and maybe we just don't have a system that has worked for us and we tend to cap our gains and expand our losses quite often again from emotion or just not having a plan or following through our plan or maybe calling an audible, meaning, oh, you just have a gut feeling. Well, a gut feeling isn't going to make you grow your portfolio in the market. You have to have a plan and follow through. So the same thing here. And rather than using technicals, we're using time, which fits much better with our style of trading. I'll see you in the next video.